How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Entrepreneur Investor and in today's video we're going to be going over Yieldmax and YMAX specifically and what I'm going to be doing in my portfolio with this new position that's coming out. So as we saw on Twitter here, Yieldmax ETF's official Twitter, this fund YMAX is coming out on Wednesday 117, so two days from now, and I'm going to be investing in this ETF. What I want to explain to you guys is that I think since the ETF is launching mid-month i think we won't see the distribution the first distribution in february but we will see it in the next month so i'm going to be slowly adding to this position i'm not going to fully drop a thousand dollars two thousand dollars into this etf i'm going to slowly buy a few shares here and there each and every day and see exactly what happens as we know this etf does have a higher expense ratio than the other yield max etfs so like for example tesla and NVIDI have a 0.99% expense ratio. And since Yieldmax is buying these ETFs in YMAX, they're going to have an additional 0.29% fee. So it'll be like a 1.2% expense ratio on this YMAX ETF. But that doesn't really deter me from investing in this ETF because I think we'll see some nice returns. We'll see steady share price appreciation or level share price and we'll see a nice consistent dividend yield so i'm really excited to see that you know the trading of this etf and what the dividends are going to be um uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the dividend rate will be because if you do an average of all the dividend yields in the previous month it is about 40 percent that they have with the yield max ETFs. So if you add up like Tesla's distribution rate, Nvidia's distribution rate, Coney's distribution rate, and so on and so forth, it'll average out to about 40%. So we might see a nice consistent 40% yield with YMAX ETF. So we'll see. The thing I'm going to do in my portfolio, I think, if Tesla does continue to drop below, you know, $10 per share and it gets to be a little too much where I'm losing a good amount I might start trimming off my position and unfortunately maybe sell at a loss but only you know I might just keep 500 shares in here and let that ride but I am going to take that loss be able to offset some of the taxes for 2024 as well and I'll invest maybe this 150 shares into YMAX so basically I'm putting my money in the same ETF but more diversified so I'm still gonna have exposure to Tesla you know 500 shares and then maybe 150 shares of YMAX or something like that so we're gonna see what happens I'm going to definitely build up the position and then maybe even trim some of my other positions as well so let's take a look at my dividend portfolio tracker I have in here you see market return is pretty substantial and today the stock market is closed for Martin Luther King Day but we could still look at some of my monthly dividend income you could see this month so far has been the highest January of 2024 I'm sitting at nine hundred seventy seven dollars for dividend income so far and that's you know the month's only half over so this has been great and if we take a look at some of my positions you can see I have a bunch in here, and I'm trying to build up my JEP E and JEP Q as well to provide more consistent, reliable income into this portfolio. And then some of the positions that I'm up in total return, I might start to trim a little bit. Even though they've been performing fantastic, maybe you know in the long run they'll all end up like Tesla. We don't know. So that's why maybe it's time to trim a little bit of AMZ, trim a little bit of NVIDIA, take some profits off the table and put that into YMAX ETF because I'm not going to, I'm going to be paying a lot in expense ratios if I have a bunch of ETFs and, you know, yield max positions. So I might as well just combine it all into YMAX. And of course, I'm going to have, you know, keep Coney and SQY and see what the fun dividend yields are going to be. But of course, you know, diversification is key sometimes. And you want that to have as the base of your portfolio. So I'm very excited about YMAX coming out. And as well as YMAG, I might even put some money into that one as well. So you can see like a Coney, I am down 13.24% and I bought on X dividend date. So it's been, you know, going down pretty substantially, but we'll see what happens in the future. I'm really not worried about it. You know, I this portfolio that I show you guys here is an experiment. I make YouTube videos on it to show you guys real life returns 
averaging down, dollar cost averaging, and trying out new methods and techniques to buying some of these yield max ETFs and seeing exactly what will happen in the future. Like AMZ has been doing great, NVIDIA has been doing great, PYPY has been doing fantastic as well, and we saw some losers like Tesla. You know, Tesla has a bunch of return on capital distributions for 2023, so we'll see what happens. Might have to trim the position, not too worried about it. Then we have Kony and SQY in here, and these are more speculative plays, and we're gonna have fun with it. But my goal for 2024 is to really build up this JEPQ and JEPB, so I'm really excited to do that as well. Yeah, so we, YMAX will be launching on the 17th of January 2024, and I don't think they'll pay in February because it's only a half month of trading, and then we'll get a nice big dividend to start off the fund in the third month of the year, and that'll really set us up nicely for you know the months to come. And then they don't have it listed yet on their website, but I think they will when Wednesday comes around. You could see all 18 of these ETFs will be combined into YMAX. And you could see my dashboard here of the dividendtracker.com, link in the description if you want to sign up for free or get the paid version, which I have. You can see my January income is expected around $1,200. Not entirely accurate because I bought some ETFs on X dividend date, but you could see out of my 47 positions that I hold in my portfolio, my dividend yield is 31.82%, which is great. And that annualized income should be around $15,000, which is absolutely fantastic. But we'll see, like I said, these are all experiments. This annual income looks very nice, 15,000. But what if my portfolio goes down by 15,000? So we'll see if I'm breaking even. And so far on my ETFs, you could see total return. Some of them are in the in the red, but I am up on total return 0.8% from these high yielding dividend ETFs. So we'll see, like I said, I'm experimenting, having fun with this, making YouTube videos, showing you guys the risks and the rewards of investing in high dividend yielding ETFs and stocks. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are doing with your YMAX positions. Like I said, I'm going to be buying slowly and then you know, experimenting and seeing if that dividend yield can yield a consistent 40% yield and maintain that $20 per share share price because of the diversification. You know, we could have Kony go up to $30 per share, which will boost YMAX, but we could have Tesla go under $10 a share and have an equilibrium in YMAX where it stays at $20 per share. So we'll see what happens in the months to come. I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.